move and crank in this area. Go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise. <laughs> Hey, this is Dahlia Dark, and I'm here at the midnight release of Grand Theft Auto V. I will be your personal tour guide of Los Santos. Can you tell me where Berto Beach House is? It's that house right there, with the yellow stairs. Vince, if you can tell me about your association with Grand Theft Auto, are you more of a fan of the genre, or are you a fan of the series? Um, I've been a fan of the genre for a while. I haven't played too much of the first ones, but I did have Grand Theft Auto 4, and I just Grand Theft Auto 5 seemed like such a great way to start get back into it because I haven't played Grand Theft Auto 5 in a, quite a while. And what are you looking forward to the most, the single player mode or the multiplayer mode? Um, probably the multiplayer mode, just because I have buddies getting this game, and I'm we're all stoked that we can just do heists together and all that sort of nonsense. And what do you think your mom's gonna say when you can't, you know, take out the trash? What do you think she's gonna have to say about that? Um, I don't know. Hopefully she'll understand, but yeah. <laughs> your son, James. He's a good kid. Uh, oh my god! So Vince, what are your feelings as far as um, the Inland Empire being acknowledged in the game? Um, well, coming from Southern California, it's kind of it's pretty cool to see how like your own hometown is portrayed in a video game, and how others will get to portray it. Because from what I've seen, it's pretty similar. How much time do you plan on spending to beat the game? To beat the game, uh, I'd say probably maybe a hundred hours. I did take the next two days off just to play this game, so I'm pretty stoked about it. Well, that's great. So we'll be skipping work and taking some vacation time to play Grand Theft Auto Five. I would do the same. <laughs> the sun, I always wanted. Yeah, whatever. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. So, how far do you think you're going to get in Vinewood as far as carjacking? Because you're going to be stuck in a lot of traffic. Um, hopefully decently far. I'll probably make my best attempt to see what I can do, maneuver around a little bit, see what happens. Hey, this is Vince, and you're watching Dahlia Dark on Dark Cinemas. Dustin, tell me how long you've been waiting in line to get your copy of Grand Theft Auto V. Um, a couple of hours now. A couple of hours. Yeah. And how long do you think it's going to take you to beat the story mode of the of this game? Uh, I don't know. I heard it's going to take a while, maybe uh, maybe like a week or two, something like that. Yeah, because the map is definitely a lot bigger now than the previous versions of Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. And what are your feelings as far as the comparison and portrayal of Los Angeles as Los Santos and the other parts of Southern California? Do you think it's accurate? Uh, yeah, it's pretty accurate so far. Um, playing it a little bit and it sounds it looks pretty accurate to me, yeah, I would say so, definitely. And um, what does your girlfriend have to say about you spending all this time gaming? Oh, she doesn't like it. She doesn't like it? No, nah, she's not a gamer type at all. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. Is, is she, would she rather you watch like some reality television shows yeah, with her? Yeah, some bullshit like that, definitely. Like American Idol or something like that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess American Idol. Yeah, that's too bad. I'm very sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't care how many cars you own, you ain't changed. When you get back into your playing, when you go home later tonight, I mean, how long do you plan on staying in the same trousers to play your... Your story mode, are you gonna stay I'm, like that all week? I'm or? <laughs> probably gonna pull an all nighter, definitely play this game for sure. That's good. That's again, that's dedication. You have to <laughs> admire that. How far do you think you're gonna get carjacking in Vinewood based on the amount of traffic you're gonna be stuck in? Um, I don't know, hopefully pretty far. Uh, I hear it's pretty realistic like that, so I don't know, hopefully far. Well, you'll have to take someone's bike, take someone's skateboard, you know, you have to do whatever you have to do to get away. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> get away from Los Santos police. <laughs> so this is Morty's Stern. Now, Morty's been in line for quite some time, and he's really excited to play Grand Theft Auto V. So, Morty, tell me what you're looking forward to most in the game. Oh, uh, I want to just uh, let loose, you know, and, um, you know, it's just really just let loose. It, it, it's 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 my escape, you understand, and that's that's what I want to do, and that's why I buy these games, and well, that's why I really get in, immersed in in these in these in these uh, massive uh, role-playing games. So, yeah, it's. So, is it going to be so much to the point where you're getting so immersed that you're like basically just in a snuggie all day long? Take showers. Uh. <laughs> 
be honest with you, I'll probably just be in my in my PJs. You, you know how it is. It's I'll just be on my PJs, and you need to be comfortable. I mean, and uh, you understand, right? So you need to be comfortable when when you're playing these games because you have to be in the zone. So sorry, excuse me. So what exactly is your impression as far as the comparison to living in LA and actually playing a game that's based on LA? You know what, from what I've seen so far, it, it looks pretty, pretty decent. I mean, we have all these amazing landmarks uh, uh, like the Hollywood Bowl and, um, and uh, in the Hollywood sign. So it, it, it should be a, a, an interesting game. I mean, you know how it is. So Marty, what does your girlfriend have to say as far as, you know, doing all this game playing? I mean, you're going to be very busy. What do you think she's going to have to say about that? Um, she supports me, I guess. So we're, we're good. And I just told her, you know what, baby? I'm going to be gone for a couple of weeks. So I'm just going to give you your, your time to do your stuff. So you know how it is. Well, that's good that you have an, a very understanding girlfriend. Now, how about your imaginary girlfriend? What does she have to say about that? <laughs> well, my, um, well, uh, let us just say, um, let us just say that Miss uh, 1970s Wonder Woman, she would be very understanding of this. Linda Hamilton, she's going to be very understanding. She will be uh, getting my juice boxes uh, at my becking call. <laughs> I'm glad that you're so excited to play Grand Theft Auto. Well, I would love to do more sightseeing around Vinewood, but I have a plane to catch at Los Santos International Airport. For Dark Cinemas, this is Dahlia Dark. This has been a Darkville USA production.